Welcome from the City of Entertainment. You are listening to Las Vegas Backstage Talk with your host, comedian Michelle LaFong. The only show that really gets personal with the stars. Partnered with Casino Player Magazine, a monthly gaming lifestyle publication with over 88,000 paid subscribers nationally, which now features LaFong's syndicated columns and backstage videotaped interviews online. Our website is LasVegasBackstageTalk.com. Where the show is- hey, hey, we are backstage at the Alliance. The casino with Lachlan Patterson, and you look even more incredible in person. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. I'm sure you get that all the time. Uh, no, I don't get enough. Not enough. More, <laughs> Somehow please. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, so you are going on tour, yes. and you're doing all. Tell me how this has changed your life, Lachlan, being a, a runner-up. Um, well, I, uh, I, I'm last I can't, comic standing, jeez. <laughs> a lot of things have changed. I think, uh, one of the fun things is, things are, I get a little perks. I get like little, what? Um, I have, uh, I was called, I called my bank the other day and I needed to do a transfer. And the guy's like, do you have the routing number and the check, your, what's your account number? And then he goes, and do you have a driver's license number? And I didn't even have a driver's license that had expired. And I go, look, I do, my driver's license is in my car. And he goes, is this last comic standing, Lachlan Patterson? <laughs> and I go, yeah. And he goes, don't worry about it. Wow. Uh, so that happened. Uh, that so means I, someone can impersonate you, basically, is yeah. what that means. Well, he, well, he knew, I guess he, he knew my voice. That was the most. Some people, oh, really? So they're recognizing everything. Yeah. They, I've gotten, I went to buy beer the other day from my corner market, and she just, he just gave it to me. This guy just gave me the beer. How do you like? So you're starting to get a good yeah. taste of this whole show yeah. business thing. I mean, it's exhausting too. I, I want to. Um, I feel like I've been given. Uh, I've been given a gift, and I feel like I need to return it. Uh, so I'm trying to honor it by um, after every show, I try to meet everyone after the shows. So people come out to the shows. I always say, I'm not leaving till you're leaving. And then I meet them, and if they want a picture or if they have something they want to talk wow. about. Wow. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't. This tonight, they actually dragged me backstage. Uh, and they said, you need to be backstage for a, a meet and greet. For the people VIPs. who are paying for this. <laughs> and I still ran out front and just took as many pictures as I could before I had to come back. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think, um, I think that that's... That's what I have to do. Uh, I've been given something, and I have to, I have to honor it, and and I feel very special, and I feel like um, I can make people's week or their day. I used to just be able to make people's night with my comedy, and now I can make their whole day just by meeting them. You like that? So now, when you were uh, against the judges, up against the judges. Yeah. Did you have one judge that you were dreading to hear from, or one that you were fearful of more than another judge, or how does that go? I would say Roseanne. Yeah. <laughs> I would probably say Roseanne. I I, fe I felt like Roseanne was the one that I had to win over. I feel like Russell. He's my countryman. He knows me. He's going to try and help me out as long as I don't screw up. If I do a good job, I know that he's going to do there well for me. Uh, Keenan and I kind of we got off to a good start where we were joking back and forth. I, I actually brought a joke just for him, uh, the mannequin joke. I, oh, re yeah, really? I brought it. He told me I look like a mannequin, and then I remember that. I told him I look like a mannequin. So I felt like I was like, "Look, man, I'm listening to you." So he was kind of like, "Cool, the kid knows how to listen." And then Roseanne, uh, I feel like she's in the middle. She's Queen Roseanne. Chances are, if things come down to a tough decision, Roseanne's going to make it. Hmm. But when you were watching it back, yeah. after it was all over, yes. right? On how TV, you mean? Yes. How surprised were you by the way some of it came off? I was really impressed how they made it uh, such a positive show. A lot of people were like, yeah, the judges weren't really, they weren't really... They didn't really say what needed to be said, and I was like, they did. They said really positive things. If you want them to be negative, look at their judgment. They judged and they eliminated people. That's the negativity. That guy got eliminated. There's no point hurting his feelings as he leaves. This isn't. But did Simon you feel Cowell. right? Did you feel though 
that the way the show was edited afterwards was your recollection of how things went. I think it was really darn close. Wow! I was really scared. I was very scared because that's we have, a first. We have audio and and video on us all the time. So I mean, there was some stuff that that could they could have aired that they never aired. So you were worried that they might air this. So you were paranoid. They could, have, uh, they could have made it a real dirty reality show like The Real Housewives and just brought out all the, you know, us complaining about not being able to use the bathroom when we wanted to, or, you know, maybe, um, I don't know, some some comments that were said between us about how things are going. We were all having ups and downs throughout the show. And, and you during your ups know. and downs, you're wired. Sure. We did things like we would rub the mic. <laughs> we like, hey, did you, uh... And you just rub your chest while you're talking. It's a little secret. So when they... That's funny. So you know they can't hear, hey, do, do, who do you think... Uh, who do you think's going to hear? You know, <laughs> now that they have right. cameras on you, too? Yeah. All the time? A lot of the time. No wonder you were afraid that they might use some of that stuff. You, you have to uh, you have to adapt really quickly. You have to learn that you're on camera. And sometimes I, I, I give the other comedians a little tap and be like, hey, man, you're on camera. And you have to remind each other. Oh, yeah. Because it's easy to forget. Totally. They want you to forget. I, it was my impression. But after watching the edited version on TV, they didn't use any of that. They were They used, they put us in a position where we could succeed after the show and I think that was wonderful and and, and, it, and it shows tonight nobody thinks anything negative of me right in fact a lot of them think of course that uh, I should have won and, and they're very positive about it and I'm like thank you so much and um, and I know that it's just you know it's stand-up comedy it's not really as much as I joined up forces I, I signed up for this I signed up for this contest I put my art up there to be judged I understand that but it is not really something that you can say one's better than the other. It's like paintings. You can't oh, say... Oh, no, we can say right. it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I never read those. You don't? Oh, it's a horrible place to go. Never go... Never scroll down on your own videos. What about Twitter? Yeah, Twitter is great. And, and, and every once in a while I would get negative and I would just not respond. You just, you just don't respond. I hate to admit this, but you get a hundred tweets. You were fantastic and you get one... You're terrible. That's all you think about. Of course. But you can't say anything. You can't respond. You just got to stick with your positive mental attitude. If I'm only going to encourage the positive tweets, and I'm not going to encourage the negative tweets. I'm not going to provoke them. I'm not going to even respond to those people. And maybe they'll learn not to be like that. Maybe they'll learn, you know what? I've noticed that he responds to everyone else but me. Maybe I should think about that. Wow. How do you like who, if you had to name three comics that you really look up to and, and like to watch, who would they be? I mean, you're asking me to name three of so many. I just want so you to. So don't take this personally. Anyone that I'm not naming. But, exactly. Uh, That's tonight. If in Vegas right now, uh, I know Jimmy Schubert's performing. Wow. Yeah. That's um, a big compliment. Jimmy brought me on the road with him. He was the first comedian to bring me on the road with him, perform with me, and then still say, "I want you to come on the road with me to the next town." And he brought me to two towns, and it's a big difference. Anyone can bring you on the road for one show, but to deal with you for a whole weekend and go through everything to do <laughs> and still want you to come back. That's never happened to me. I yeah. wouldn't know. Well, yeah, yeah, that's very funny. Uh, Francisco Ramos, uh, who I don't, I mean, check him out. He's auditioning for next season. Really? Yeah, he called me, he texted me just now, and he's, he's in Vegas, and he's auditioning on Monday. I got a feeling Francisco Ramos might be in the... Uh, might, might make it to the top ten or even might win it. Wow. Very funny. How ben, do you like Venezuelan. that? Venezuelan. I like the I like the AF foreigners. I always go for the underdogs. Interesting. And well, Jimmy Schubert yeah. is nothing like you. No, I mean, Jimmy's nothing. nothing like me. Um, he's a wild man. He's fun. He's, he's seeing him on the show, seeing him come uh, and make it to the top ten. I turned around, I saw him, and I just. I was like, ah, I feel safe knowing Jimmy Schubert's on the show still. Favorite female comic? Uh, dead or alive, it doesn't dead or matter. Lucille Ball. She wasn't a comic, so that don't count. A stand up comic? Yes. Oh, I guess I got to say the late Joan Rivers. I agree. Absolutely. I yes, agree. I bet you do. Absolutely. Yes. I'm sure. Thank you so much for Thank me. you. You are wonderful. Syndicated columns and backstage videotaped interviews online. Our website is LasVegasBackstageTalk.com.